In this video, I want to show you how to trade cryptocurrencies on the Bybit cryptocurrency exchange. And you might wonder what exactly is cryptocurrency trading. Cryptocurrency trading is basically the process of buying of cryptocurrencies when the price is low and selling it when the price has increased so you can make profits in the process, right? So what I'm about to show you is also applicable to cryptocurrency investment, right? It helps you to know how to invest in cryptocurrencies, basically. So before we dive right in, my name is Emmanuel Jacob. I'm the founder of Digital Swap. If I just see me for the very first time, you're welcome. And uh, I'd like to know your name in the comments below. And if you are here to subscribe, make sure you subscribe. Just tell me your name so I can welcome you, right? So, now we want to dive into the practical aspect of trading um cryptocurrencies on the bybit cryptocurrency exchange and the first um criteria bef um, before you think of trading or investing in cryptocurrencies across several cryptocurrency exchanges is that you must have some major cryptocurrencies like um, bitcoin ethereum or usdt right so lately i think um up to 90 percent of cryptocurrency traders prefer using the usdt right to um buy or maybe sell cryptocurrencies across cryptocurrency exchanges right so i have made a video and uh, it's available in this my youtube channel um this video is actually going to show you how to get usdt on Bybit's P2P, right? So this enables you to use your local currencies to acquire USDT. So you can use the USDT to buy other cryptocurrencies you are interested in trading or investing in, right? So the first thing you have to do, right, in order to trade cryptocurrencies after you have acquired or deposited USDT is to go to assets, right? So to know how to buy USDT, just... Um, Click on this pop-up and it's going to take you to a video that will guide you on how to get USDT on Bybit P2P. So after you are able to acquire USDT from Bybit P2P, the next thing you have to do is to click on trade. And when you click on trade, right, you are going to probably see Bitcoin slash USDT as the default um, currency pay or sometimes you might even see Mint right i'm not really sure about that then you have to make sure that you have some cryptocurrencies and if after buying your cryptocurrencies on bybit you it, it after clicking on trade and you are not able to find it here what you need to do is for you to transfer from your funding wallet to your spot um, trading account or for some other users on the bybit um, platform i believe you are you could see something like unified trading account right so the, the unified trading account is um, a trading account that involves both the derivative and the spot trading so the derivative here simply means futures right i hope i'm not confusing you so if you don't see um your usdt after you are able to um, purchase it from the bybit p2p you are going to click on this plus button right so this plus button is once you click on it, you are going to see an option to be able to transfer, um, deposit, or convert. So you are going to click on transfer, right? So when you click on transfer, it's going to take you to, um, you are going to see funding, and you are going to see spots, right? And some other users, if you are seeing something like unified trading account, then you click on, in fact, you don't have to do anything. All you have to do is to make sure you impute the amount of USDT you are looking to transfer from your funding wallet to your unified trading account. And once you are done with imputing the figures, you are going to click on confirm. But since I don't have anything to transfer, I already have some USDT in my sports wallet or you can call it your unified trading account. So what you have to do after the transfer is for you to come here and choose what cryptocurrencies you are interested in trading or investing right so going forward i'm going to be dropping crypto trading signals in our telegram channel if you are yet to join make sure you visit link in the description of this video 
click on it and be a part of our telegram channel and we are currently um 2100 subscribers and we want to start posting trading signals once we are able to hit 2500 which i believe we are going to be able to achieve that in just a few days time so make sure you join us and share it with your family and friends so we could be able to reach our targets and start saving you guys with crypto trading signals and some coin crypto or coin recommendations right where you can trade and invest in and make money right so uh, in our channel when we drop signals telling you what cryptocurrency to buy right you are going to be seeing something like limit order or market order i'm going to explain limit order all right um, when we get to the practical aspect of trading i'm going to explain what that means you have, I'm also going to explain what market order means. I'm going to explain what TP means. I'm going to explain what SL means, right? And also, this is what you have to do anytime I mention or we drop a signal or asking you to go trade some cryptocurrencies. All you have to do is to click on um, this currency pay, which is BTC slash USDT and use the search button to search for the exact um, cryptocurrency you are looking to trade. So let's say, for instance, I want to trade Injective, which is INJ. I'm going to search INJ. Then once you um, are able to type this, you are going to see lots of options, right? Diverse options. And the first one, you, you could see that under the USDT, we have spots. If you select the first one, it means you want to trade it on your spots account but if you go for usdt perpetual it means you want to trade derivative or you can call it futures right but since i want to trade on spots i'm going to click on the first option and now yeah now we have um injective so if i drop a signal telling you to buy injective and probably give you a price like the exact price you should buy injective you are going to see something like limit order right so by default um this settings is currently in limit order which simply means limit order gives you the ability to choose the particular amount of price you are interested in buying any cryptocurrency assets right it even gives you the liberty to say oh this price is currently um 31 dollars i'm not comfortable with the price or maybe you've done a couple of analysis and you're able to tell that there's possibility that the price is going to drop to let's say maybe 25 dollars or 29 27 right so limit order gives you the ability to choose what price you are you are you want to buy a particular cryptocurrency let's say i'm interested in buying it at 28 dollars what this simply means is that the system is just going to make place your order once you have um, click on buy after imputing the price and the quantity of USDT you want to use in buying the cryptocurrency so the system will now keep your order pending when the price of injective or inj has dropped to 28 dollars this is applicable to all cryptocurrency assets across diverse cryptocurrency exchanges right so the system will keep your order and if for any reason the price of inj drops to 28 dollars then the system will take your usdt and give you um inj in exchange for that right that is basically it that is just crypto trading and this is what market order means market order means you don't have the time you don't want to wait you just want to jump in in fact maybe you want to you're having a fear of missing out right which is fomo right and you just want to jump in at the current market price of any crypto asset you are interested in buying so if i go for market order it simply means that whatever the current price of the crypto asset is that is the price i'm going to buy it right now okay so now i'm actually going to use both to buy cryptocurrencies right i select limit and this limit now i want to choose either of these prices which is the sell the sell i'm going to choose um I'm going to choose this price i will just touch it right so touching it 
touching it now, it has imputed the price here for me. Then what value? We have other value. And I think I want to use, let's say, $25, right? Then I'm going to click on buy. I click on buy, injective, sorry. All right. Okay, I didn't buy, sorry. I'll just, uh, okay, the market is fluctuating. I'm going to select another one, okay? Then I now click on buy. So, I've been able to buy injective. And uh, as you can see, the fact that I'm able to buy right away is just because the price um got, I was able to select the current price using limit, right? And don't forget that this limit also gives you the ability to say, I want to buy when it is 29 and you impute the value of USDT, let's say like $15 and you click on buy. When you click on buy, since the price of injective has not yet dropped to um, $29 per INJ, then that is why we have open order. And that is even why you are seeing it under orders, which means your order is still open. While it's op the, the, the fact that it is open simply means that the price of ING has not yet dropped to that particular price amount. And that is why you are having it under order. It is still an order, right? But if you are able to buy, once you are able to buy, you are going to see it under assets. Okay? You are going to see it under assets so that is it about limit order now let's talk about market order so market order like i explained earlier right only gives you um the ability for you to type the amount of usdt you want to use in buying any cryptocurrency and when it comes to selecting of price or choosing of price it is the system or the platform that determines the price right based on the current price wherein that particular cryptocurrency asset is being um traded um type 11 dollars usdt click on buy and here i've been able to buy and you could see that i have a total of two injective so this is because i already had some injective before making this video so now after buying this is where it gets interesting you have to sell and it doesn't mean that you have to sell immediately right so now the first off we want to use market order when it comes to selling the only time you get to use market order when it comes to selling is um for two reasons and the first reason is you bought a coin and you did not set the price where you want to sell the coin okay and all of a sudden maybe you log into the application and you realize that you are in profit and you are comfortable with the profit you are okay with the profit and you want to use market order just to close the trade and take your profit right that's the first scenario and the second scenario is okay you bought a coin you did not set stop loss you did not set take profit and all of a sudden the coin is dropping drastically and just for you to be able to protect your capital from going down the drain you just have to use market order to kill the trade by closing it and cutting your loss right so in this case i don't think i want to use market order let's use limit order so i could explain how you can use it for your own advantage so i select i've selected limits and what i want to do now is i want to say okay i want to sell my injective when the price go, uh, has gone as um far as let's say 40 dollars per injective okay and uh this slide gives you the ability or the liberty to um choose how much of your this thing injective you want to sell is it everything you could also use this um, slide to type the exact amount or you could drag this to the last which is 100 percent and you hit the sell button okay so i think i want to sell i think i want to sell one injective so i'm just going to type one injective then I click on sell. So what I just did is I'm placing an order to sell injective when the price goes up to $40. It might not happen next week. It might not happen next month. But if I'm looking at the long term, then injective could get to $40. And when that happens, since I have already placed a sell order, 
I don't have to be online. I don't have to be active. I don't even have to be logged into my Bybit account, right? The system will just sell my injective for me and keep USDT in exchange for that particular transaction. So that's basically how using limit order and uh, market order works when it comes to crypto trading. So it's, it's quite simple, right? So that is just how you could be able to trade cryptocurrencies. Remember earlier on, I said that crypto trading is just a process of buying of cryptocurrency assets when the price is low and aiming to sell when the price has increased to make profits. Okay. So at some point, you could even maybe cut your losses. And that is why in the next video, I'm going to be showing you how you can set, take profit and stop loss just to prevent your capital from going down the drain. Right. So um, if you are yet to subscribe, do well to hit the subscribe button, like this video. And if you have any questions, do well to drop it in the comments below. Please, a lot of people are in need of such and information like this and i believe this video is quite detailed if it isn't you can tell me in the comment below and if it is i need you to give me some credit right i i want to blush <laughs> all right so do well to spread this video right share it aggressively to people out there that doesn't have the basic knowledge of how to place trades and also do well to share our telegram channel link with your family and friends right let them come and learn how to make money from cryptocurrencies because we are about to enter into the bull market where um, i mean people are actually going to be making lots of money and you don't want to be left out neither do you want any of your family or friends to be left out so once again thank you so much for sticking around till the end of this video i really do appreciate all right um goodbye and have a wonderful time bye